Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is September 6th. It is Monday, 2021. Uh, it is an absolutely beautiful day. You can see the just very clear now. And it's funny because it's very deceiving because we had rain this morning. It was raining pretty good actually. But you could never tell from this now the way it is because it looks absolutely beautiful. So isn't that a trip? <laughs> so it is Labor Day. So first of all, happy Labor Day to everybody. And so all of you that get the extra day off, and tomorrow is back to work for everybody. So what we're going so before I get into um, the video, just a quick reminder: I am doing a live stream tonight for hardcore preppers only. And that will be at 8 o'clock tonight. So if you are a member and a, so you have to be a hardcore um, prepper member. Uh, there's three levels that you can join. And so I do every Monday, I do a live stream for that level of membership. So uh, if you would like to be part of that, go to my main page. You'll see the join button. You click on that. And hello. That is how you can join us. So I will be live streaming tonight for Hardcore Preppers only um, at 8 o'clock tonight. So that will be set up very, very shortly. And there's Mr. Max. He just came out with me. So let's get into this video. So since it's Labor Day, let's talk about labor. Let's talk about New Yorkers. It's time for you to go back to work. The extended benefits ends as of today. Well, I think it was yesterday um, it ended. So no more extra money each month. Even though, let's, let's be very clear about this one. Even though they have the money to extend it because they were given all this coronavirus money. But no, with this reason and that reason, they have all kinds of excuses why uh, that will not be extended. <laughs> Lots of excuses of why they can't extend it. So I thought that that's quite interesting. And, you know, it sounds all very good and well and professional. But uh, the bottom line is they're tired of people taking advantage of this extra money and not working. So now all of you that have been riding that uh, horse as long as you possibly can, it's time to go back to work. And uh, so that's how that works. But... Uh, so yeah, that's very interesting, I thought, and so that's, uh, that is what is going on. So it is time for people to get off their behinds and uh, go out and get a job. So um, I did make a prediction in the live stream earlier, uh, a couple days ago, that uh, the jobs report for September would be exponentially higher because across the country, uh, that extra benefit is ending. So then it was up to each state to, if they wanted to use some of their coronavirus money, which is billions of dollars per state, uh, to extend that, uh, you know, benefit for uh, the unemployed, that they could. Well, obviously, New York is one of the states that will not be offering that. They're not going to be extending that. And that's not a surprise because, you know, and they're using uh, the excuse that, well, they can't offer that because one of the, I think one of the reasons that they said was because they're operating in a deficit. They're like $11 billion um, in a deficit right now in New York State. So they're using that as one of the reasons why, um, you know, and that's a, it sounds like a great excuse. Uh, real, the reality is uh, they realize... I mean, and let's be 100% honest with everything. They realize that a lot of people have uh, taken advantage of this situation and have decided not to go back to work until they absolutely have to. And I'm not saying that everybody's in that boat. So let me just be very, very clear on that so, the, so that the people that are going to jump on me and say, well, there's people, you know, they can't get a job, and this is why they have to have that. I get it. I get it. But not everybody's in that situation. A lot of people have taken advantage of this situation, as we all know, to be a true statement. And so now, uh, that free ride is over. So it's time to uh, 
get back into the workforce for a lot of folks that haven't. And yes, I'm picking up stones. There is uh, a lot of stone from everything that had gotten dug up when he had to do the trench through here. And um, so there was a lot of stone that had worked its way up. And stone always works its way up here anyway. <laughs> it's weird, different parts of the property. So anyway, for, before I get into sidetracking here, um, I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Um, in your states, whatever state you are in, are they extending the benefits, which they're able to do for per state? Or are they ending the benefits in your state? So that's definitely something um, I want to hear from you guys. And I want to hear what's going on um, in the state that you are in. If they are extending the benefits or if they are letting them run out. Because, again, uh, a tremendous amount of people have definitely taken advantage of the situation. Uh, you know, and not gone back to work. Because they didn't have to. They were making, in some cases, uh, more money than they would be if they were working. So again, and, and like I said, I'm not, who am I to judge? I'm not judging anybody. I'm just saying <clears throat> people have taken advantage of a situation that was presented before them. And so that's how it goes. So, you know, that's why they have to, they had to end this. They had to end it. Just like... Um, they are also ending the moratorium on the unemployment, or no, on the, um, you know, people being evicted from their homes and stuff like that, and apartments. Um, that's come to an end as well. So it'll be very, very interesting moving forward here, especially as we move into, you know, fall and then winter, uh, the number of people that are going to be in pretty rough shape. Because, again, if you did not plan for this because you knew that one day uh, the free ride would be over, you have to plan accordingly. I mean, that's just smart. Uh, hopefully you didn't go out and, and buy all the big toys and, and have vacations and, and, and piss away the extra money that way. Uh, hopefully you were smart about it. Now, do I think that a lot of people were smart about it? No, probably not. So, uh, I'm sure there were some, there were some, but for the most part, I think a lot of people just figure, well, we'll just ride this out as long as we can, and then we'll think, we'll worry about that later. Um, I'm always one that I try to think ahead, plan accordingly to whatever is happening, and, you know, try to be as ready as I can, so I'm not going to be stressed out and flipping out and like, oh my God, what am I going to do now? So... But, uh, yeah, so that's, uh, I find that to be interesting. So i got to give you an update of what is happening here as well. Um, I have a, a consultation coming up for, so for the last several years, let's, let's ro ro rewind here a moment. For the last several years, I have uh, used a backup generator, all right? which you see here. Now, it seems like... Now, this generator actually has done very, very well. It's a different model than uh, Tractor Supply had before. They had a different kind before. The kind they had before, we'd get a year out of it. That's it. Get about a year, and then they would crap the bed, and that would be the end of that um, particular model of generator. And so that was not a whole lot of fun. So, you know, we were buying a new one every year. So, you'd buy, you know, $400 generator, and then the next year, you're buying the next one. Uh, this one actually has done very, very well. Because I wasn't able to be in a position to say, okay, you know, what, uh, what can we do? Now, obviously, uh, if you can get a Generax, that's the way to go. So, um, I obviously have been taking care of this, you know, this for all these years. And, you know, with Mom and Becky here now, uh, you know, and, and I don't plan on being here this winter. Um, I will, I, my game plan is to be in West Virginia for the winter. So, I did not want to have them be in a position where they had to come out in the middle of the night or in the middle of winter, gas up this generator, 
uh, make sure everything is running properly and do that periodically because obviously we don't get a whole lot of sunshine up here in New York in the wintertime. So what has um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be getting a Generax that runs on propane. So I'm going to get another propane tank because I don't the, to run a line another line from this propane tank all through here very very expensive. So I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'll get another propane tank, um, even if it's a 100-gallon tank. Like, they got that one there, I believe, is a 100-gallon tank, I believe. I'll have to, I have to see what they have over there. But that's what they got over there. But I would, I would get another tank like that brought in here for the Generax, uh, strictly for that, to use um, as a backup. If the batteries get to a certain level, the generator will kick on automatically they won't have to do anything and so that's going to make dealing with power situations in the winter much much easier for them so I have uh, somebody coming on Thursday and I don't know if that's going to be virtual or they're going to actually come out to the house or going to call me ahead of time and uh, we're going to get this taken care of and uh, so that will be a situation I mean because that was something I was actually very concerned about with going away because I obviously I've always taken care of everything um, it's what I do that's where I've been you know what I mean so uh, to be able to be in a situation where we can get things squared away for them so they don't have to worry about it they don't have to think about it um, that it's going to happen automatically um, that's what we're going to be doing for them so that's like one of the newest things that's going to be happening here um, I'm trying to I'm trying to get to a point so that it is easy as possible for them to be able to handle whatever they need to handle when I'm not here because obviously I've always taken care of everything because I've always been here. Um, again, I don't plan on being here for the winter. I plan on being down in West Virginia working on the property down there. And so obviously that is what is happening. So um, that's where I'm at and uh, just trying to you know, and again, um, I'm just going to say this, I know I've already said this before, I'm not going to be so far away that if they need me back here for something, or if something is coming up that needs to be taken care of, that um, I can't come home and take care of that. I will be, you know, in a position to, to be able to do that. So that is the game plan. So that's where we're at with that. And uh, so, yeah. A lot going on. Um, I'm getting excited. Uh, obviously, I have to wait until tomorrow, uh, but tomorrow I'm going to be trying to get things set up to rent a bulldozer down in West Virginia um, when I go down. So uh, I will be looking up who I need to contact down there in the area that I'm going to be at and uh, get that set up so that when we get there, uh, I'm going to be leaving here after my live stream on the 15th, which is a Wednesday. And uh, so I'm going to be leaving after that. Uh, I will be down in West Virginia at some point on Thursday. And so I'm hoping to get the, uh, the bulldozer there like Friday morning. Hold on a second. Ah, she's high. <laughs> Becky was sitting. She was sitting on the bed, and she waved at me, and so I waved back. And then she saw me turning the camera, and she jumped off the bed. So, here, I'll, I'll, I'll mess with her. There you can, I don't know if you guys can see her in there. <laughs> and there's Grandma. All right. So... Anyway, guys, um, I, I, I want to hear your... So that's that's the game plan. Um, I want to try to make it as easy for them up here as I possibly can. And getting a Generax is the way to go uh, because it will kick on automatically uh, for them. So that is what we're going to try to get in place before I leave. And so... But there's a lot going on. So anyway, I am going to jump off of here for right now. Uh, and... Uh, get some things taken care of but I hope everybody's having a good Labor Day and uh, you know that uh, you're planning accordingly that you're getting ready accordingly I think it's a smart thing to do so anyway uh, 
I will be doing another video later, so I encourage you to join me then, and uh, I will be live streaming again for members only tonight. So I hope everybody has a great day. Have a good one. Um, actually, feels pretty good out here today. So remember, we are all in this together. That is important to remember. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important to tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step thing and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to accomplish, whatever you're trying to do, you can do it. The only one that can stop you from reaching your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else can stop you. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. All right? I will see you all later. I hope everybody has a great day. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.